Hi, and welcome to a short video on Measurand's SAA Recorder software. The SAA Recorder software is used to manually connect to a shape array and take manual readings or perform diagnostics or use the installation verification tool in the case of SAV uh, vertical installations. Before you use your SAA Recorder application, you must first connect your computer to the shape array. Connections to the shape array are made using one of our various interfaces, either an SAA 232 with a 232 USB cable, with one of our SAA field power units, or with an SAA USB device. Once you've got the shape array connected to one of the interfaces and to power and to your computer, you can then launch the SAA recorder application. The SAA recorder is launched through the SAA suite by selecting the manual data collection button. This will open up the SAA recorder startup window. By default, you'll select the connect SAA button and that will open up our connect screen. On the connect screen, you'll notice that we have different options listed for serial ports. You'll need to make sure that you select the appropriate COM port uh, that your shape array is physically connected to and a section for selecting the interface you're using, one of the SAA 232s, a field unit, or an SAA USB device. If everything is connected and powered properly, after a short period of time on this connection tab, you'll get a start with found SAAs button, and it will list the serial number and the COM port where the shape array was found. To proceed with the application, you'll click the start with found SAAs button. This will launch into the SAA Recorder main interface and will access the calibration files for working with that shape array. Once the calibration files have been loaded, it will try to initialize the shape array. Once initialization is complete, you should see a 3D model of the shape array in one of the four panes shown in the background of the window. Once you've seen the 3D model, you're actively viewing live data from your shape array. The first thing you need to look at is the basic settings. By default, this dialog will be open and it allows you to select which end is used as the reference end, be it the far eye bolt end of the shape array or the cable end. Which end you select as the reference will be the Cartesian origin point for the data that's produced by the instrument. Depending on your application, it may make sense to select the cable end versus selecting the far end. The next section is the averaging option. By default, we recommend leaving that at 1,000 samples and using the AIA mode. And then finally, we select the modeling mode, which is usually 3D in vertical applications or 2D if you're measuring horizontal settlement data. Once you've configured your basic settings, click OK or apply in order to apply them. After you've connected to your shape array and configured the basic settings, you'll want to enter in some site properties. Specifically, you'll want to enter your azimuth offset. This is an offset measured from an expected direction on your site to the X mark on the instrument. This azimuth offset will allow you to reorient the axes in the data such that your positive X axis is in the expected direction to a, some physical orientation on your site. To enter in your azimuth offset, we'll go to the SAA setup menu and select the site properties option. In the site properties, we can enter in the azimuth offset angle we can also provide an optional location name for the site that can be included in the various files that are produced by SAA Recorder. Once you've entered your offset, click the OK or Apply button to save the value. Once you've configured your basic options and entered in any site properties that are required, you'll want to save a raw data file. 
raw data file will contain readings from the shape array, and it's taken by selecting the file menu and navigating to the save raw data file option. This will open up a recording dialog that will slowly count up the number of samples that it's recording. Once you've recorded at least one sample, or you've recorded enough samples for your purposes, you can click on the stop playback button. This will prompt you to enter a path and a file name for a location of where to save the raw data file. By default, we recommend including the date in your raw data file for easy identification of the reading. This will save in the proprietary .rsa format, but the data contained in the file can be exported into various other formats using functionality within SA Recorder. Also, after selecting the file name and the location to save the file, you have the option to select the Save Text Snapshot File checkbox and the Save Scan Report Files checkbox. This text snapshot contains converted Cartesian data in a comma delimited format, saved out as a plain text file. The Save Scan Report file names will generate scan reports typically used for measuring borehole deviation. Click the OK button to save your raw data reading and any of your text files. If you selected the Save Scan Report option, you'll be presented with the SAA Scan Report dialog to allow you to configure some of the options for the scan report. Once you've configured your options, you can click the Generate Reports button, and it will show you a quick preview of the, the graphs that will be included in the report, and a dialog will be displayed telling you the names and the full paths to the files that have just been saved. With all the options selected, you'll have an RSA file, a plain text file, a DOC file, and a PDF. You can navigate to that location on your computer and see these files on the hard drive. As well as recording raw data readings, the SAA Recorder tool is also used during the installation of vertical SAAVs. During the installation, an SAV needs to be pumped to ensure that there's proper compression in the instrument before the installation is capped off and completed. This ensures that the shape array retains its proper cyclical shape within the conduit. To access the SAV installation verification tool, you'll first connect to your SAA, set up all of your settings as previously described, and then you'll go to the diagnostics menu and select the SAV installation verification option. This will launch the verification tool and allow you to use either live data or look at a recorded data file to see whether or not the installation has proper compression. Once this dialog is open, you'll need to ensure that you enter the proper casing inner diameter. This tool requires knowledge of the casing inner diameter in order to properly calculate. And what you need to look for is to ensure that your average tilts for all of your segments are greater than the expected average tilt as calculated in the graph. The graph also provides a nice point graph of the tilts of all of the individual segments to give you an idea of which segments have reached the appropriate tilt within the casing and which segments have not reached the proper tilt. You're also able to save the results of the tool with the save data option. You can also save a screenshot with the save screenshot button. It's a good idea to do these when you're doing your SAV installations. Uh, in order to have records of what the installed shape was when you first installed the instrument. Finally, the SAA Recorder tool is used for diagnostics purposes. 
This tool allows us to do a checkup of the shape array to ensure that everything is working properly. The diagnostics tool is accessed via the diagnostics menu by selecting the diagnostics tests option. This will present you with a list of various individual tests that can be performed, as well as a complete diagnostics check button, which will allow you to perform all the tests listed. By default, the number of voltage and current samples and the number of data check samples are five and 10 respectively. And we recommend leaving those values high as repeated numbers of tests will often be good when trying to troubleshoot any intermittent problems. Clicking the OK button will start the tests and you'll see various windows pop up with progress bars as the diagnostics tests are performed on your instrument. Once the diagnostic tests are complete, you'll be presented with a summary of the results of the tests. Hopefully everything passed. If not, we recommend selecting the save text report file and selecting a location to save the diagnostics text report. Clicking OK will save the results of the tests with details about each test into the location. And those files should be sent to MeasureAnd for examination. It will also pop up the files so that you can see a preview of their contents. Thank you for watching our brief introduction to SAA Recorder. And as always, if you need to contact us, feel free to reach out to support at or look us up on the web at support.measurand.com.